Hi guys, in previous video, you'll remember, we looked at this shot and I was moaning about me being too greedy with focal length and it was all relevant to crop centered cameras and don't use too long a focal length lens otherwise you'll get yourself in, in problems if you get a wonky horizon or something like that and of course we can't straighten this horizon without clipping at the top and bottom of the image and i did say in that video that we or i if it was going to make a usable saleable image out of this to go up on stock i'm going to have to do a little bit of fancy content to wear fill over in photoshop and uh, again this is something you cannot do in lightroom or anything else you've got to do it in photoshop so um, as I say, I know we've done this before in some form or other, but repetition is the mother of all good learning. So what we'll do is we'll go and do it over in Photoshop. And I've already got the image over in Photoshop, and here it is. And um, so the first thing I want to do is to extend the canvas upwards to give myself some headroom over the top of these um, primary feathers here. And then I'm going to want to extend it downwards as well. And then I'm going to want to rotate it. Now, we're going to be using Content-Aware Fill. And the thing is about Content-Aware Fill, it gets a little bit weird when you get tight areas such as this. And to make the job just a little bit easier, when I extend the canvas, I need to extend it with a base colour which matches um, the colour that I'm trying to expand, um, especially in the area where it's at its tightest, if you understand my meaning. So what I'm going to do is, well I've already got it done here but I'll go through it anyway, and uh, members over on my Patreon site uh, will be able to download this raw file so you can play along with Andy, yes! So I'm going to get my colour picker tool, which I've already got. And usually my colour picker tool is set to a 3x3 three three or a 5x5 five five average. And sometimes I even use it in point sample. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to use it in a 31x31 31 31 average. And I'm just going to come over here and just select that colour there. Okay. So you can see I've now got it selected in my foreground colour picker box. And so all we're going to do is go to, uh, where are we going to go? Yes, image canvas size, not image size, canvas size. And you can see the height of this image at the minute is 10.933 inches. Well, I can't be bothered with the 33, but I am going to make it 11.9 inches tall. Um, with regard to the anchor point, I need to anchor the bottom of the image. So I need to come and click that little box there so that the expansion is going to take place upwards and I'm going to need to make the canvas extension color equal my foreground color which don't forget is this here so we'll go and click OK and now you can see where we come in very tight to these primary feathers we haven't really got a big color change going on so that's good and all we're going to do is command minus so we can see what we're doing and we're going to get our lasso tool and we're just going to come in and we're going to draw around just up there i've got to clip the top of the primary on that we'll soon see if it works out all right or not and i'm just going to go edit and we'll go content aware fill and let's see what happens so there we go and we filled in the sky over the top there i haven't even had to use the negative brush to actually remove the eagle or the c from the selection the uh, functionality of content aware is sufficiently intelligent over in photoshop to actually work out what it is that i'm trying to do so i'll now go and click ok and we'll just go uh, select deselect because I can't be bothered trying to use my keyboard shortcut 
and we'll just go in there and we'll just have a look at that at 100 percent and we'll check that it's all a-okay i can't see a problem over there at all can you no so that little job is done and we've given ourselves enough headroom at the top of the frame to actually rotate this image and get the horizon straight the next thing we need to do is the same sort of technique but we're going to do it at the bottom of the image now so i'm going to go and get my color picker tool again and i'm going to come in here and i'm going to select a sort of a medium blue from this c here so we've now got a different foreground color in our color picker box it's down here and so we're going to go to edit no we're not we're going to go image we're going to go canvas size and this time we want to anchor the image at the top so if we click up there and anchor the image at the top all the extension is going to come downwards it could come outwards to the sides as well if we made any alteration to the width but we're only altering the height so i'm going to take this up to 12.9 now and with this darker foreground color we'll click ok job sorted now then before we go and do anything else what we're going to do is we're going to go and crop the image and well we're not cropping it we're going to rotate it with the crop tool to actually get that horizon straight ish is that straight ish doesn't look too bad and i think the other thing we're going to do is to actually just improve the composition of the image a little bit by sort of sliding it over a little bit to the right and then maybe just dropping it down a little tiny tad and then bringing this top edge down a little bit rather like that and we'll go on it okay for there and so you see i've been quite clever there i'm deliberately leaving it a little bit tight down here um because you know it just makes the job easier and all we're going to do now is lasso around whoops a daisy that's the wrong lemming thing um that's a crop tool isn't it so we'll just go and get the lasso tool you know if i actually knew what i was doing i'd be dangerous wouldn't i and we're just going to come across here we rather like that and just go edit content aware fill again and let's just see what happens before we do any fancy work with the uh, old removal brush and uh, there we go and i mean really truly i can't see any problems with that I'll just let the uh, little twirly dots finish and we'll go ahead and go click ok on that because i'm quite happy so we'll go select deselect and then i'm just going to come straight down there around there and then go edit content aware fill again and now let's see what happens what happens down at this side this left hand side that looks okay just let the twirly dots finish again come on there we go click okay on that and uh, so we'll go select deselect again and then we'll pull up our crop tool finally and i might just pull it down at the top a little bit and scoot it across maybe a little bit more just trying to get this rule of thirds line just to sort of cross a little bit more on this strong vertical area here and i don't think that looks too bad at all so there we go yeah really really simple so if i go file and i go save and then we come back over into Lightroom. There we go. And so if I go and click on the original RAW file as well. And then we go YY. No, we don't. What am I doing? Aren't I silly? We go back to Library. And we go Contrast and Compare. Is our old image. Uh, in other words the original raw file that came off our machine with the wonky horizon and here's our new image um, without a wonky horizon and you'll also notice that it's bigger yes it's bigger it's a bigger canvas image yes it is so 
fundamentally when you crop to straighten okay you usually end up making your image smaller this way we've actually made it bigger Woo cracking okay hope you enjoyed that guys um leave me a comment or a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, yeah so until the next time hope you found that useful hope you found it interesting and i shall see you again to root